Still freezing! I'm so freezing! I'm gonna skip the cutscene this time. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Uh, down is death! Oh. Hmm. I was misled. Hmm. Okay. So this over here, if you want to go back out, is... <laughs> yeah, it's... It's just like the other pipe back at the Jaxi place. It just takes you back out to the surface, but we don't want to, we don't want to do that. But you know, the other ones, if they really wanted to check out what was down here, you know, they could just jump in the pipe to get back out before they're under severe attack or something like that. Anyway, underground temple. Now we have to activate the sentry beam because we need to break through that. Although maybe I shouldn't say that because there's often a lot of ways that you can get around things in this game. But for the sake of showing you how things work, let's just do that for kicks. <laughs> uh, now for the Goombas here, I'm I'm kind of kind of planning on saving them. <laughs> See, are you gonna do little jumps here? I don't know if I can get this one up there. Yes, I can. But I want to save the Goombas because of a certain uh, Goomba stacking for a moon side quest here. But anyway, whoa, slippery. <laughs> I just want to go ahead and break this out over here to get access to these purple coins. And let's go up through here. I'm gonna keep walking the Goombas along, I guess. Don't fall off, please. No, they won't fall off, don't worry. <laughs> uh, wait, actually, I shouldn't... I don't think I should activate that yet, because it'll kill the Goombas. So that I was actually good that I missed. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that there for now. And now... You're, what, you're probably wondering, what is the power of the Goomba, anyway? Their power is... The power is stacking. Yeah, see, now, with the powers of Goomba stacking, you can get places that you couldn't get to before. Like, say... A floating moon? Way up in the sky? <laughs> uh, so, I'm, anyway, I'm gonna drop off... These two over here, take over this stack... And jump to open those boxes up. Oh! Come on! <laughs> and get these maxi stackies. But wait, but wait, it's not enough. So what are we supposed to do then? Well, oh, there's more Goombas up there. <laughs> so yeah, you just have to keep going back and forth to continually stack the Goombas as far as you can here. I'll just kind of do that. No, oh, I didn't want to kill. Oh, shoot, that. Oh, shoot. Whoops. <laughs> Might as well try that again. Okay, I don't know if I can actually skip some of this here. Uh, just, just for the sake of showing myself skipping stuff. I don't know, it's kind of an awkward jump. I probably could, but it's probably just simpler this way. <laughs> At least I don't have to take the side routes again. Alright, let's re-grab that... Wait, hold on a sec. Is that... Uh, no, wait. The... Where'd that other Goomba go? Don't I have enough Goombas now, or...? Uh... Uh... I hope I have... Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had a two-stack at this point. Hmm... Hmm, well, it's, it might still be enough. I don't think you need all the Goombas. Anyway, that... Uh, oops, whoopsie doodle. That's okay. Now, uh, let's see if this, if this works out. Boink. And... Yeah, and up here. And hopefully... Hopefully not mess things up this time. I already opened those boxes, you've seen what they were, so let's not do that again and accidentally kill things. <laughs> uh, there we go! <laughs> There's enough Goombas there after all. There's also some stuff that, uh, uh, well, I think if I put them up here they'll be safe. Because they're, they're off the, whoa, whoa, they're off the main sentry, oh they're not safe at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get you guys over to somewhere that you won't chase me very easily. But I want you to help me get some coins a little bit later on. So I'm gonna do some trickery here. I'm gonna let myself go up there. <laughs> now they'll be stuck nicely on the wall. Oh, there's the other Goomba! What? Did you just not spawn before? Well, I don't think I need that many anyway, so I will leave you behind. Woo! And that, that's gonna start a chain reaction that will utterly murder the Goombas, by the way, but I'll be okay jumping over that. <laughs> it's no big deal. I only have to worry about this sentry beam over here, and it's just one jump at a time. Okay, maybe there's more than one. <laughs> I thought there's... Oh, shoot. Well, well. Okay, maybe it's not going to totally murder the Goombas, but they may murder me. 
Uh, now I want to go over to that platform there, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a little, get a little ahead of this spinning curve here. And get on over here. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, get over there, we take the middle one, and unfortunately we're going to have to abandon our Goomba, our Goomba stack. Alas, alas. I said, alas, alas. <laughs> well, I guess I, I guess I could use this to get up. Okay, yeah, I guess I can do it that way. But still, but still, this is not really, this is not really gonna help me. So I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> All right, you come over here. I don't want that sentry beam to be activated. I'll, that'll just make things more annoying. That bullet bill had a visor. And now, you could just go through that middle area, but what, what if we were to say, take this little hidden secret route here? Just just for the fun of it, you know, there might, might be something over here. <laughs> it's a whole stash of coins, and I gotta say, when coins are stacked like this, it just looks weird in Mario, doesn't it? Because it's, they're normally floating in the air, and they're, they're spinning. <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to do that obstacle course, though, sort of, kind of, but I actually reached an invisible... No, oh, no, no! I was going to say, I actually reached an invisible checkpoint. Oh, <laughs> Like, if I were to die there, I'll be pooped back out over to the other area that where the bullet bill started at. Yeah, but that, I, I didn't want to do that just so soon. I Because <laughs> there's, there's a moon up over to this area over here, and you gotta do some fancy schmancy jumps to actually get over there. I, I, I cannot believe I, I, I failed to run across such a simple, straightforward, straight old... <laughs> it's so wide! It's so wide! So now we gotta get up there, and we, got, we gotta do some trickery here, or not! <laughs> Aha! Look at that! But now you can just backflip up there if you'd like to. You, what you do to backflip is you turn your back to the wall like so, crouch by pressing ZL, and then just hit the jump button. You'll get a higher than normal jump. Anyway... Book moon! It's a moon! Yes! And there is no secret path on the other side. Now, I just want to show you the other regular route, if you don't take that, because otherwise you skip a whole bunch of challenge. <laughs> Like, it, it, just, it just seems like it, it's sad if you if you don't do this. I mean, this is kind of a nice little segment going on here, so let's just do this. I don't really care about the coinage lost. <laughs> By the way, you most certainly want to, uh, want to refresh your bullet bills here, because it's not really, whoa, there's not really a lot of time between bullet bill movements to get through this. And there we go. We made it. We made it, but what do we make it to, anyway? Now go down these stairs and you'll find out. Oh, the deepest underground, that's where. And boy is it spooky. So spooky we might not be able to handle this. But actually, we must handle this because we are going for 100% completion. And also, I'd like to show you something. Do a triple jump off the very, very edge of this and try and get onto that pillar using a hat jump. I showed you this move before, but now... Oh, yeah, okay. Now, as awkward as that may seem, we got something else. We've got to get on top of that ledge. That's on top of the door. You're like, what? There's, there's no ledge there. Oh, there's a ledge there. <laughs> okay, ready? You're going to do the same thing, only it's got to be more precise. <laughs> like, even more precise than that. Yep, there's a ledge there. Look at that. What what are we doing over here anyway? This is this is so far out of the way. Who would who would dare to even come this way for no good reason? Well, there's actually a good reason. It's a pretty pretty hidden thing. I forgot how to get this last jump though. Uh, hmm. How did I get this last jump? How? How now? Oh wait, I think it was a forward dive, actually. I do that and then- Oh, I did it the wrong way! I had to restart it from the beginning. <laughs> Whoops! I did that, I was zigzagging all over on that jump. <laughs> totally missed the ledge! 
And yes, Dallin is indeed death over here. There we go, okay. One more to do here. And one, two, three. <laughs> I told you it's precise. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try this again here. Maybe I should actually flip the camera around so it's like this instead. And then do a gentle turnaround. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, there we go! Now this is completely optional for 100%. This is just one of the biggest coin stacks in the entire game. Was it worth all those lives that I lost? Maybe. I <laughs> but yeah, there really is nothing else up here. Besides that stack of giblets and yeah, so it's kind of... It's up to you if you want to try that challenge. <laughs> Remember, if you want to do the hat jump, you do a jump, throw the hat, and then dive at the hat. To, you might want to like do each of those individual moves individually to do, get practice. Like, do, do ground pounds, like you're doing so. Just regular ground pounds. Instead of doing a ground part, you're gonna combine that by pressing Y to dive forward. Got it. Got it. Good. And then you're gonna add one more thing before everything else. The hat throw. Yeah! Like so. Got it. Good. I don't know if that helps you get the hang of a very complex move, but it works. It works. Anyway, let's go down over here. And that, that looks suspiciously like a boss arena, I've gotta say. Hmm. 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 Oh no! Oh no! It's... It's Wham Bam Rock from Kirby Superstar! No, actually, it's Knuckle Tech. <laughs> you take ring! No, I did not! I, I swear I did not. By the way, you can get hearts uh, by having... It smashed the ice like that, and if there's a heart in there, and then you can take control over the hand, and you're like, "Whoa, oh, jeez! He's like, oh, there's nothing I can do to stop it." <laughs> then shoot ice at it. <laughs> it's pretty silly, but pretty awesome. Look out for the arms of doom! You just go right in between them if you like to. It's no big deal. I'm just gonna leave that heart there in case I need it. But to get him to, uh, oh, but I'm not. A, I think to get him, I guess I'll need it now. As I say, to get him to stop in his tracks like that, you want him to hit one of the icy things on the ground. And see, it, it makes makes stars appear over the, the hand, or you can just grab it after a punch. That'll work too. Woo! You know, maybe, I, I don't know, I don't feel too good about this. I mean, we're, we're kind of attacking the guardian of the ring here, and... Dang it! <laughs> and like, all he's doing is guarding the ring, and we, we came here and just kind of, just kind of starting to mess up this place for no good reason. And ah, poopers! <laughs> I might manage to die there. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's do this more for realsies, more focus. And no, I'm not going back up on those pillars again. Dang it! By the way, that slot is, uh, uh, well, you'll see later. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> just kind of go and back over here. That was just plain embarrassing. <laughs> it's not that hard of a boss, especially since you have the powers of his own hands. <laughs> and I believe it only, only takes three hits, too, so... I, I was literally on the last hit. Where did the ring go? Okay, fine. Hit your hand on this again, please, if you don't mind. Good boy. <laughs> I'm just sucking so badly at this for some reason. All right, there we go. And just to go around the side that isn't like doesn't have ice being thrown at you. That's how I'm avoiding those ice being. Sh you know, yeah. Anyway. So, by the way, can I break these with a ground pound? I don't believe I can. No, I didn't think so. Anyway, you can dodge them that way too. That's another thing that you can do. And we're gonna wait till to get another heart here too, because that'll be nice and handy. <laughs> Just keep moving to dodge those icy spire things, icicles. I, I don't know if they're really icicles because I don't know. They don't really look like it, the way an icicle would form. <laughs> 
Alright, that's two hits. See, look look what happens when, when I'm concentrating. It's just magical. Woo! You can even do that. <laughs> you can, whoops, you can jump right over the hands. Do what you please. That I kind of messed that up. But anyway, avoid the hand claps of doom. It really is a lot like Wham Bam Rock. <laughs> And then we wait for another punching cycle so I can get a hold of one of the hands. There we go, that will do, and oh, the hand's going, oh, it's going one side to the other, oh, jeez, it's changing, pattern's changing, oh, man, oh, we got it anyway. Woohoo! Victory is mine! Woo! Now, um, remember that moon, that triple moon that I seen way, 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 way back at the surface? And I said, oh, I cannot get that right now. I bumped into a Jaxi a few times. This is that moon. So we, what we actually seen was the boss at the very surface of the world. Oh, can I, like, yeah, he was up over there and his head was sticking out of the area. Anyway! Completed! Woo! I'll probably grab a couple of moons before I before I leave the area. The hole in the desert. I mean, I, I'm sure that I did some cuts after that uh, very <laughs> very annoying coin stash above the world. And that uh, coin stash that you've seen there is actually a pretty good lesson of this game. Is that you? If you see it, you can probably get a, get on top of it somehow. Whew, it's so hot now. I do suppose that's what we were trying to accomplish. Yeah, I guess. If you keep up this pace, I'll catch that Bowser Bowser in no time. I'm not going to put the moons on there. Yes, we do. If you want to check, put me on the globe globe. Not right now, though. We're going to go ahead and check out these two new characters. He's like, Hi, Mario! Help out Princess Peach! Princess Peach! I'm doing a survey of Power Moon Power Moon locations! Have trouble finding Power Moons? I can help you for 50 coins! So he can give you hints? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> Another thing that you can use to get hints is this here. It's Uncle Amiibo. Hey, kiddo, I'm Uncle Amiibo. Pleased to meet your acquaintance and all that. Hey, you got any Amiibo? If you happen to have some, put them to work. You're good at finding any stray moon har moons. <laughs> Here's the kicker. Depending on the amiibo you use, you might get a little bonus costume too. Wanna tap an amiibo? Sure, I have a yarn Yoshi from Yoshi's... Put it on the analog stick there. Thusly, so we're just gonna go ahead and... I was gonna say, yes I do. Yes, yes, yes. I would like to tap just to show, show the people here. Yes, I will tap. Okay, there we go. That, why wasn't it? Yeah, you just gotta put it on the control stick, the right analog stick. Uh, why? Uh... I was not holding right. I, I did not read the directions properly, I'm sorry. Yes, it's... <laughs> well, it's a yarn, Yoshi, but details. You got I'll send this Yoshi Amiibo out to look for a power moon. It's gonna take about five minutes to look, so come back in a bit. So... So... Well... Let's just say we'll just leave that for now, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll we'll see how that turns out. Now what we're gonna do here is whoops, what I used the wrong button again. And we're gonna go over to remember this building over here. Uh, just the just for the sake of getting stuff cleared that I wanted to get cleared from before. Hey, Jaxie, how's it going? Now remember you you could get on top of that building by going through the whole poison bullet bill section. Well. Well, what if I were to say that there's another way up there? It's pretty easy. <laughs> and now one of these weird scarecrow-like things are unfrozen. Like I said, I wanted to do this before when I was up here, but I couldn't. Now you notice that I, I don't have my hat to do this. So now we gotta actually do some platforming normally. Yeah, you gotta do... Yeah, I can't actually can't do that. Uh, oh yeah, oh I can! I. I think I released the button too early. Whoopsie doodle, my bad, my bad. I'm just just flubbing the last of this part. Can't can't have a part for this walkthrough without flubs, I guess, for some reason. Okay, okay. now we're gonna do some wall kicks. Just push yourself against the wall, and go ahead and... No, 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 no! Ah! <laughs> I tried my best. Because I knew I, I was stall... I mean, I was messing up at the end there, but I, I tried to catch it with the powers of... Restart. 
<laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna try to catch you with the powers of recovery and diving and stuff like that, but I just barely, barely missed it. Yeah, it, it's a relatively tight time, that's why I'm kinda, kinda having some difficulties-ish with it. And, uh, dang it! I don't wanna do that, I Okay, there we go, that's what I wanted to do, Sand Kingdom Timer Challenge 1. Wait, 1? So there's more than 1? Why, yes there is. Oops, I did the wrong button again. <laughs> if you go back over here to the Moai Habitat, we can go do that other one now that it's unfrozen too. Yeah, remember I thought that there was a uh, piece of a Power Moon over there? Well, 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 that wasn't the thing, it was a whole moon! <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead over here and whack with this switch. I think I actually need a Moai for this, uh, or maybe not, because I just memorize the area. Yeah, I can memorize that location just fine. Just do lateral angles to the points of poison entry. Straight down now, right, right? Yeah, I got it. I got it. That was timer challenge number two. Woo! And I think... I think, well, yeah, mm, uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> so, I, well, I guess I'll warp over here first, just just for the sake of convenience for the future. <laughs> so yeah, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. When I do stuff, maybe I'll go to the next world, maybe I'll continue exploring this area, I mean there's a lot of stuff that I could collect now here. <laughs>